Hey guys, what is up? Cyberace TV here with the first look at the new iPod Touch 5th generation. So finally, after two years, we finally got a refresh on the iPod Touch lineup. Now, Apple did announce this today at, at its iPhone 5 launch event, and there are some cool upgrades on this new device. So to start off, the biggest thing is a 4-inch display. It has the same display that the new iPhone 5 has on it, so you know, you got your Retina display, 4 inches, bigger, and a much more enjoyable experience obviously it's the thinnest ipod touch to date as you know the ipod touches and the iphones they only get thinner um we have the a5 chip for the processor so it's getting that bump up to a dual core processor and apparently has seven times the graphics performance of the last generation model and the battery is supposed to be rated pretty well you're apparently going to be able to get 40 hours of music playback out of that which is pretty good. The rear camera has gotten an upgrade. It's built on a 5 megapixel ca uh, camera sensor and you'll be able to shoot 1080p video. And the front camera is 720p and supports FaceTime obviously. Now this device does come loaded with iOS 6 and it starts at $299. It's a little pricey. Uh, that's because now they kind of wiped out that 8 gigabyte model now. You can pick up the device starting at 32 gigabytes or, and of course for 399 64 gigabytes and if you don't want to pay that much you could actually pick up a last generation touch a 16 gigabyte third gen touch will go for or fourth gen my bad will go for 199 and the 32 gigabyte uh fourth gen will go for 249 now one awesome thing about the new ipod touches is that they now support multiple colors it will be sold in five different colors raw aluminum black blue yellow and red so this is really cool that they're actually adding a new design to this. You'll actually be able to get it in some different colors besides those just two white and black, uh, which is very awesome in my opinion. Uh, so let me know what you guys think of the new device in the comments down below. I think it's such a step up from the iPod Touch 4th generation, and I look forward to hopefully getting some hands-on checkout time with this new device uh, on the channel. So let me know what you think of it. Are you just going to stick with your old one? Would you rather buy that discounted old one instead of a new one? You think $300 is too high for a starting point? Uh, honestly, I think it's kind of stupid that they cut the 8GB, I think that was kind of their uh, flagship iPod Touch there, but he was kind of getting the 8GB one, uh, it was just for your average person that didn't want to go too overboard with stuff. Uh, somebody like me who just you know, uses their iPod Touch for music these days, I probably would go with uh, like an 8GB if I were to buy one again, but they kind of cut out that small man there, you gotta go right for the jump to the 32GB, which I feel is kind of unnecessary for people who just want to really use it for music and stuff, so let me know what you guys think of that. Uh, like I said, love to get hands-on with this thing. Hopefully some reviews on it coming up in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cyber, Cyber Race TV, anything techie you need to know, he's the guy to see.